this video, we'll be talking about the effects of changing radius and the ratios of similar figures that have circles and thus they have radii. And by the way, similar figures just have the same shape, they're just a different size. Let's look at a real world example. Let's say you go to a pizza place and they offer a 10 inch pizza for $10, 10 inch diameter. Well, they offer you two pizzas for $20. But they say, hey, I like you. I'll give you a 20-inch pizza for $21. Well, which one is a better deal? Well, let's see what's going on here. We have one 10-inch pizza, and there's another 10-inch pizza side by side. They're 20 inches wide for $20. But a 20-inch pizza, 20-inch diameter, that 20 inches, we're not just going to double how wide it is we're also going to double how tall it is or how long it is. That's going to make it so you actually have four times as much pizza for one extra dollar. Let's look at that another way. You can see in there that you actually have the two pizzas in their area plus the area of two more pizzas. It's definitely going to be a better deal for those 20 inches. Now let's look at the math. There's one pizza with a 10 inch diameter, and there's another pizza with a 20 inch diameter. Let's look at their ratios, that relationship between them. We have the diameters, that's 1 to 2. We just divide by 10, divide by 10, you get 1 to 2, just like a fraction. Well, what about their circumferences? Now, remember, a circumference is diameter times pi. It's going to be the diameter times 3.14 will get you the distance around. So it's 10 pi to 20 pi. That's still going to be 1 to 2. One of them is twice as long as the other. What about the radiuses, the radii? Well, that's half of the diameter. That's 5 inches and 10 inches. It's still 1 to 2. They have the same ratio each time. So when we do a linear measurement with similar figures, it's one-dimensional. It will have that same ratio every time. But what about the area? That's pi r squared. That's 25 pi and 100 pi. It's 1 to 4. So area is two-dimensional. So now it's 1 to 2, but you square both of those to get the ratio of the area. 1 squared to 2 squared. Let's look at another example. One circle has a 5 meter radius and another one has a 3 meter radius. We'll look at the ratios of the radii, the diameters, and the circumferences, all linear. 5 meters to 3 meters, 5 to 3. The diameters are 10 meters and 6 meters. We simplify that, we still get 5 to 3. And the circumferences are going to be the diameters times pi meters. So 10 pi meters to 6 pi meters, we simplify that again, you still get 5 to 3. It's the same ratio every time, but the area is going to be different. It's 25 pi to 9 pi, it's 25 to 9. Look, it's 5 squared to 3 squared. That ratio is going to be true every time. Let's try again. We have one that's 4 meters, another one that is 12 meters in diameter. One is three times as long. So the ratio of their diameters is 4 to 12. That simplifies to 1 to 3. Divide by 4, divide by 4. The radii are going to be 2 and 6. So their ratio is 2 to 6, which also simplifies to 1 to 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. The circumferences will be the diameter times pi, 4 pi to 12 pi. Again, that simplifies as 1 to 3. They're always 3 times longer, but the area will be different. It's pi r squared, pi times 2 squared, pi times 6 squared. That's 4 pi to 36 pi. That's not 1 to 3. It's 1 to 9. 1 squared to 3 squared. So again, linear, anything linear, one-dimensional, it's going to be 1 to 3. You can take that 4 and 12. The area is going to be 4 squared to 12 squared. 
which is exactly the same ratio as 1 squared to 3 squared. If you were to square that, you get 16 and 144. 16 goes into 144 nine times. That ratio will always be the same. You don't even have to simplify it. You could just use the 4 and the 12. But what about three-dimensional figures? What's going to happen there? We have a sphere with a 6-inch radius and a sphere with a 3-inch radius. The ratio is going to be 6 to 3 or 2 to 1. Area is two-dimensional. Let's try the area of the great circle. It's pi times the radius squared. Well, that's now going to be 36 pi to 9 pi. It's 4 to 1. But with the volume, you're going to use the formula 4 thirds pi r cubed. We can go over that in another video, but it's 288 pi to 36 pi. That's 8 to 1. Well, what happened there? Well, let's think about it this way. Anything linear, we can think about it as that ratio of a to b. Here it's 6 to 3. 6 is a and b is 3. For the area, the ratio is going to be a squared to b squared. 2 squared to 1 squared is 4 to 1. And with three-dimensional figures, similar figures, you take a cubed and b cubed. So remember that changing the radius can have a dramatic effect based on whether we're dealing with something linear and its area or its volume. Always just plug them into their formulas and see what happens.